In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, I show you how Evernote now integrates with Google Drive. Hello and welcome to episode 78 of my Working with Evernote series. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to show you how Evernote integrates with Google Drive. Now this is a recent feature that came out. Now it seemed to have come out reasonably quietly. I didn't see a great deal of fuss in the technology media about this new feature but it is actually a very, very good feature particularly for those of you guys out there who, like me, use Evernote to capture all my notes and resource materials when I'm working on a particular project. But Google Docs, for example, might be where the finished product is being written. Or I could be creating a Google Slides presentation or maybe a Google Sheet uh, uh, spreadsheet. So this feature is particularly useful in those kind of instances because now you can link up your Evernote with Google Drive. Now the other part of this is of course if you are working on a collaboration document with some of your colleagues or maybe with your friends what you can do is you can share the link to your Google Drive document and everyone can contribute and play around with it and then later when you go into your Evernote to be checking notes or whatever you have related to that document it is updated in real time because the connection is between Google Docs and Evernote. So that's what I want to show you today. So before we go into Evernote though, what I would like to do is ask if you like this episode, please click on the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, let's get into Evernote and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I've created a new note here in Evernote. So um, sample Google Docs uh, connect con connection. Uh, <laughs> my brain has gone dead. So there we go. So I'm going to add in that in here. So what we've got up here, I'm going to I'm going to open this up so you can probably see this a lot better. Uh, actually, we can do it here, but it doesn't actually. <laughs> no, it's not going to help me. So let's just open up this file here. So what I've got up here is uh, click to add tasks. I've got all sorts of things up here and I can't get into where I want to get into from here. So what we're going to do is from here. So when I click on here, we have this thing. Actually, that's uh, interesting. So now, OK, so what we've got here is all these little icons up here. Obviously, this is related to text and this is uh, related to the uh, font that you're using. You've got your checkboxes, you've got line, you've got various formatting options here. Um, but over here, we've got a number of issues, a uh, number of additional ones here. And uh, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing. But one what we're looking for here is this one on the end. This one here is your uh, Google Drive. So I've actually signed in. Normally when you uh, actually do this for the first time, you're going to be asked to sign in for uh, connection. But once you're connected, you're absolutely fine. So I can take this file here. I'm going to go drop down to, say, sample level. So we've got a sample document. I'm going to select that. That's going to come into my uh, Google Drive and I've got a few options here. I can open or I can just copy the link So if I wanted to share it, I don't actually have to open it copy the link and then share it I can actually share it directly from here So I can just open the file and it will take me directly to my Google Drive So again, I can just click on that It's going to open up Safari It's going to open up the Google Docs document and I can get on and work on this file No problem at all. So it's all here absolutely easy to do and this is one of the beauties of using this kind of connectivity. So I would, to be fair, if I was organizing this note, what I would do is I would have it, the actual document I'm working on up at the top. But then if I've got meeting notes, I can say Mary to uh, send me updated uh, student list. I can add uh, need to add in more dialogue. So during the meeting, I've got everything that I need in this note. So it's just such an easy way to actually get on and work. And 
as I showed those of you who have been following this channel and also watched the Todoist videos last Saturday or Sunday, whenever you watch the video, you will have seen how I connected my Google Drive into Todoist. But this is just one of those beautiful ways of getting two applications working seamlessly together. And it is such an easy thing to do. You set it up, you sign in, and it's signed in for all your notes. And it's going to save you so much time. So let's say that Mary, I'm sharing this document with Mary, and Mary decides to add some details into the document. It doesn't matter. I can see it once I click on. It's updated in real time. This is one of the best things about doing using this, because if I just shared like a normal uh, pages file, then if somebody updates that, it doesn't update. But if I'm using Google Docs, then it doesn't matter what my colleagues or partners are doing. If they update it, this is updated in real time. I click on it, it opens up in Google Docs, and I can get on and do the work. It's just a fantastic way. And I know so many of you guys out there are using Google Docs. So hopefully you can find some really good uses for this particular uh, file. If you have any questions at all about Google Docs, there is a blog post that Evernote put together, which I will put a link to in the notes section below. But if you have any questions for me, please don't hesitate to add them in the comment section below, and I'll be more than happy to answer them if I can. Thank you very much for watching this short episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week.